Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. 2010 Tundra four wheel drive. She has 227,000 miles on the odometer and is here today for regular maintenance. And the owner came today. He brought me coffee and donut. And he said, Peter, I think it's time for throttle body cleaning so let's go and see if it's easy to do it on this vehicle and what is hiding underneath the hood of this huge tundra you are right there could be two options and this is the smaller one and i just finished minutes ago filming engine oil and filter change on this engine for you so you are welcome in this video let's go and see if the throttle body is dirty if it is let's go and nicely clean it and here we have an engine air box with the filter here is that pipe so it should be hiding right here correct so i pull it up and here we go voila our throttle body is right here or if i bring you closer let's say it's right here to see how dirty it is we need to basically gain view from this direction here is that intake pipe that will be two clamps and not to bend it it's pretty short not to damage it i should just loosen the clips on that air box see it there boom pop there's more there one more there so that's released and now i will continue on this clamp and what is it peter is it 10 millimeter well let's hope ho ho yes very nice the clamp is loose now this will be moving for me that direction aha uh -huh. it was a little bit so called glued by the heat but without damaging anything i can just put it on the side so let's go around and see and i will actually let you to judge is this throttle body clean or it's dirty what do you say this is perfect example when the looks could be deceiving you saw that butterfly wealth it's nice and shiny and it's not full of yellow or brown dust dirt sand and so on correct you might say hey what's the problem just put it back it's totally fine well it's not let me show you a details which will show us or prove the owner correct when he said hey i think i need a throttle body cleaning let me show you those details and we will focus looking on two areas one it's above that butterfly belt and one it's underneath it let me see if we can get there so right on the bottom there's supposed to be absolutely clear opening run right on the top there should be absolutely clear passage for the air and it's related to the idle air there should be a passage and guess what my friend it's plucked by the carbon basically it's full of dirt and it actually shows us that this silver area seemingly perfectly clean it was really deceiving it's not true and the cleaning needs to be performed so the ideal is always disconnect this throttle body connector, electrical connector. Now we have, unfortunately, 
we have a coolant coming in it. If you look, it's connected to it. It has a two hoses, but at this moment we will ignore it and we will focus on these four bolts which are holding it down. Okay. Let's see how tight it is. Sometimes the small tool will not take it off, but these are definitely easy to get to, all four of them. Now you will see the throttle body will be accessible to us. You will see the back. <laughs> and you will trust me that this was needed. Let me show you the back of it. And look what we were not seeing on the other side. Isn't it deceiving? One side, beautifully clean. Oh la la, what's about the back? I wonder if somebody tried to clean it from the front because these are definitely not matching. So that was funny in my opinion. Now you can disconnect these two hoses and get it on the bench or you can bring here actually a little catchment because the hoses kind of are long and they give you uh, space to work. You don't have to deal with that little bit of coolant spillage because they are both of them are carrying coolant and you can just do it right here. Let's say that I'm trying to prove how easy it is therefore to lure you or encourage you to do it yourself and do it often. So we will use this little plastic tray to minimize the mess. I don't want to make mess in that engine. I actually did the valve covers on this engine for this owner. I think I filmed that. And as usually I highly recommend all of you CRC products, throttle body and air intake cleaner. I mean, isn't it absolutely clear what it is about, right? It's about a throttle body cleaning. So the other side is completely clean. I will start soaking this side. And I'm not afraid that it will be flowing into the engine. Right? Somebody who will not disconnect it, you will be just shooting it in your intake. Then you can have a misfire and so on. I never do that. So I'm soaking it. And you probably see it's already it's giving up. And the dust and dirt is giving up and it's flowing away from it. And that was only after a few seconds of using that spray. So you can see it's potent. Obviously all of us wear your protective gloves, protective glasses, be safe while doing that maintenance. It looks like a little smiley face. Now this is electronic part with a motors right here. So any time you work on this, please be gentle and be mindful of what you know about it. I will be not forcing that butterfly valve to move abruptly. I will be not using a lot of power right now to move it and open it. There are all these plastic gears right here on the left side. I don't want to damage it. That will be very costly actually. So prevent that from happening. I'm very gentle, careful. Now look at it. Look how it's getting slowly better. Do you remember how nasty it was? But do you also remember when we first looked at it? 
somebody who doesn't understand this automotive stuff might have think that that throttle body is totally fine. We worked on it for a few minutes and look the difference on the back thanks to this throttle body cleaning spray. And I personally start actually seeing underneath and above it starting slowly opening but now we will move that flap and clean it perfectly in these two areas. Another shop towel and now I will carefully force to open that butterfly valve. So either on the bottom or above I'm pushing on it, it opened for me and now I have access actually to the plucked area and there is still a lot of stuff stuck there. You can also spray it on your shop towel and do it this way. Now it's soaked in and look how it nicely will dissolve the dirt on the body. It's all on the towel. I can flip it around. Now I can do the edge right here. And this is what I'm doing. Yep, and our goal is have it beautiful and our goal is to open those passages which are here and here for that airflow which is running our idle. As I'm cleaning, I should mention that anytime you do this service uh, you will increase the flow of the air at the idle through the throttle body and the moment you will start the engine there will be super high idle don't freak out it's absolutely normal the engine's computer the vehicle's computer have to relearn that there is a new flow which was plugged by the dirt Therefore, it will readjust the RPM. The ideal is that when you first start it, you are in the well-ventilated area. You switch off every single thing which could be load for the engine. So you turn off the AC compressor, right? That should be off. You turn off whatever, the fan and so on, you put ideally if you can everything in zero. Only after that you will start the vehicle. Make sure there is air coming, you are not enclosed. Look at that, what I was on the top right here, how it's coming off nicely. So make sure there is air, if it's in the garage, have it open so it doesn't kill you the fumes from the exhaust and it's good to have no load start it up and just let it be let it be let it sit for a couple of minutes you will actually be able to observe that the idle rpm will start going slowly down already there and it's funny because when we look at it and you are experts so you know but Somebody who never did that could have been fooled and they might thought that it was fully okay because it was silver and shiny. But look what we see that light coming underneath it and it will be a buff if I turn it. I just don't want to expose you. You see that light perfectly coming? It's, it's the identical, I just don't want to expose you to directly to that flashlight, that work light which is behind it. So I will do a little bit more cleaning. You see some particles on the upper right hand side. I will clean that and we will be basically done. Now you know how to do this. I always go and recheck that the gasket here, it's a rubber gasket, is in good condition. I will carefully place it back. And 
start installing these four bolts. This housing in the back, it's plastic. There are metal inserts, but don't use super powerful power tools on this. Be careful. Again, it's easy to damage something being in a hurry. And I'm trying to be cautious. So basically what you can do with two like this, you can switch it on number one. The clutch, the power of the tool is it's way less. And I go crisscross. I'm not using even full full speed. And I always prefer at the end torque it by the hand to feel it. Yep, this is good. It needed a little bit more, but because I switched the tool for one, the level one, it didn't over torque it, and that's that's fantastic. Now I can plug this back. Both coolant hoses were not disconnected, which is fantastic. You can install the whole thing back. Let's secure the air box. Cool. I'm not sure if you will be able to see it. I do with the naked eye. Oh yeah, you do. I'm looking on the monitor. This was clean. The tray was clean. Look how brown and nasty it is. I don't want to forget this engine cover. It's dirty, so I don't get gloves. So, you enter it in back. There are like a two rubber mounts. You just push it down on this, and that's it. That's how it holds there. It's not lifting, so this is fantastic. We have fresh air available. I hope in the garage I will try to squeeze in the cabin and actually show you what you will expect, should expect. I think I have to talk to the owner that he needs to stop drinking this immediately, apparently that will poison you. So, off we said, whatever we can, that's a fan, which automatically the AC will be off. I don't want to run any of these. You will see finally the mileage, and we will watch the RPM. It will be super high in the beginning, and if you let it idle, it will go down gradually, slowly. Oh yeah, do you hear that angry beast? It will be freaking out on you, that computer. It's like, what is happening? Why am I getting all this air suddenly at the idle? It wasn't like that. You also, what you can hear, there's complication with this engine that the secondary air injection pumps are running. So it's even bigger mess than on the older vehicle. But that's what you do. If you let it sit, it should go down eventually. Two minutes later. And this is approximately after five minutes of idling here in the shop. So I will go ahead, turn it off and it will relearn when the owner will be using vehicle today or tomorrow. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.